So I hope you've been able to have a look through the story and have a think about that and how it helps us to remember our commandment for today. So next we thought we'd have a look at a craft. And our craft for today is going to help us remember where our words come from. So when we speak, where do our words come from? Absolutely, yeah, they come from our mouths. They come from our heads. But before they get to other people, they come out of our mouths. And so we are going today to make a little paper mouth. Okay, a movable paper mouth to help us remember our words and the impact that they might have. Okay, and we've got our little summary of our verse, do not lie. Okay, Exodus 20 verse 15, written on the top here, just to help us to remember that even more. So all you're going to need for our craft today is a piece of white paper. If you have some red paper, you could save yourself some time and use that. But if not, if you've got a red crayon or a red pen or pencil, then that will be plenty. And a little bit of glue just for one or two little bits later on. So first thing you want to do is you want to take your piece of A4 paper and you want to fold the top corner all the way across so that it makes a triangle across your page. Okay, once you've done that, you can cut off this extra little bit you've got at the bottom and that will leave you with a square of white paper. Okay, when you've got your square, it will be in a triangle form like this. And what I want you to do is open it up and then fold it in the opposite way. Okay, then open it up. You've got two folds on it and you want to fold the top bit of your triangle into the middle on all four sides so that you will end up with a square with bits that open up like this. Once you've got that, turn it over so the bits that you open are on the bottom and then take your corners and put them into the middle as well. So folding them all in so that means you've got bits that open up on either side. It'll look something like this, okay, with your four triangles in the middle. Once you've done that, I want you to then fold your square in half so that it ends up looking like this. Then pop your fingers into the little flaps underneath and it should go together to look something like this. Now, some of you may well have seen some things like these before that you use for asking questions and things like that. We're not going to use it in quite the same way to date, but it's the same design that you're going to use. So once you've done this, I want you to take some glue and I want you to put it in between two bits here where your fingers are holding it together at the moment. OK, so not all four, just two of the bits. So if you put it there, once you've glued it, then you'll only be able to open it this way and it'll look a little bit like a mouth. Once you've done that, you can then move on to decorating it. So you can take a piece of your paper, you can colour it red, you can put in your tongue, you can add your verse on the top, and then if you want to, you can add lots of other decorations on the side. And every time we're looking at this or we're playing about with it, we can be remembering that our words are really, really important. So I hope you can find some paper that you can get this done. Please do remember to share as well your crafts if you'd like to. It's always great to see what you've been getting up to since we don't get to see it as we would in Sunday school normally. And we hope that you have lots of fun and we'll look forward to seeing you again next week.